Welcome everyone to Hear the News. Today is May 5th, 2019. Your source of news before any trade decision. We're all here to give you an update of the stock market. Uh, we try to do this on a weekly basis to make sure that you all are in tune with the overall financial markets for the upcoming week. I uh, definitely want to thank you all for taking the opportunity out to watch this video. Uh, overall, the stock market has been very reluctant into seeing prices moving lower. I know there's been a lot of videos on YouTube, on television, even on the internet speaking of increasing pressure of a recession or even a depression and literally they're trying to insinuate gloom and doom and what we're here to show you is that that's not being seen on the price charts okay the market participants those who dwell into this market on a daily basis are not insinuating that that is on the horizon okay so what we're going to do from our last video we were still anticipating these three indices the nasdaq the s p 500 as well as the Dow to continue to make all-time highs and as you can tell right here in the Nasdaq that this particular index is not showing us any weakness we're looking at the monthly chart right now and last month was a very positive month in the Nasdaq um, the starting out of May we can see that the market tried to move lower in price okay but it was <clears throat> as of this particular moment has been bought up by the participants because they're still expecting higher prices okay so uh, overall the Nasdaq is still insinuating all-time highs being maintained last week we did see the opportunity for the market to take a movement lower but it wasn't excessive and we still closed towards the high of the bar so there is still indications that strength is still being maintained in the Nasdaq looking here on the daily time frame right here on the 2nd of May even the 1st of May the volume has definitely been climactic comparative to what you see right here in the background of this chart and even on Friday the market closed towards the high of the bar so at least the starting of this upcoming work week the Nasdaq is still anticipated to move higher now considering that we are in uncharted territory for these indexes making all-time highs there's nowhere in the background of these charts that we can utilize to try to determine where resistance will be so that is the only thing that you need to keep in front of you if you're trading these three indexes is that you had to be on guard in order to react relatively quick because that's how the market participants will react once the slightest hint of negative news come out they will push these indexes lower in price okay so as of this particular moment the Nasdaq is still insinuating some strength now we're gonna go ahead and look at the S&P 500 monthly chart again just like in the Nasdaq we started out this month and the s p 500 with some weakness uh, we were able to close toward the high of the bar currently in the month of may weekly chart for the s p 500 uh, you can still tell here that the weakness did come in but even in the s p 500 we was able to close towards the high of the bar the volume is needs to be addressed uh, it is a lot higher than what we saw the last two weeks so a, a little bit more effort is being placed in this index to try to take profits okay a lot of these market participants are in this space taking profits at these all-time highs daily chart for the s p 500 uh, pretty much in tow with the nasdaq you can see here on the second of may that the volume even on the first of may were very climactic and we still close close friday at the high end of the bar so that tells us that the market is still euphoric for higher prices uh, it might not make it as high as what it did the first of May but the strength is still present okay so we're still anticipating the S&P 500 to continue its movement to the upside as well just want you all to understand that since we're trading right here that there's no area in the background of this chart from the duration of this index being used that we can utilize for resistance okay so be very vigilant into the market as we trade at these high levels even though we're not seeing a lot of indications of some weakness entering the space but this day right here we need to keep our eyes on because that can play a huge role going forward in the s p 500 to instill more selling into the market okay looking at the last one the dow uh this particular stock out of the three indexes i'm sorry stock out of the three indexes this index the dow is the weakest out of the three the nasdaq is the strongest then the s p 500 is the second strongest and the dow is the weakest 
um, the market even though it is the weakest out of the three it is still able to maintain strength okay that 26,000 point level in the Dow or 26,195 has maintained support currently in the month of May very positive to see that too uh, here we are looking at on a weekly time frame the market in the Dow definitely is holding quite well the support area that we got drawn on our chart 26,250 uh, the market has tried twice two weeks to try to break below that support line that we got drawn and it's not being successful so that's another indication uh, that the Dow is maintaining its strength daily time frame we got a little bit more volatility coming on into the Dow but with that being said the first and the second of May just like all three indexes have saw increased volume that needs to be notified that needs to be seen on this price chart and then that Friday the last day of the week we are still close towards the high of the bar so at least that tells me a uh, beginning half of this upcoming work week that these three indexes are still pushing higher prices uh, the Dow is still anticipated to move higher as well even with the S&P 500 along with the Nasdaq I just want to make sure that you all are ready to react as we're trading at these all-time high levels because the slightest hint of some negativity like um, North Korea firing off missiles or the China trade deal is not going to be finished or the interest rate that the Fed is going to do is going to it's going to increase the interest rate higher than what many of the analysts are expecting those type of things will definitely create a cascading effect that will push the rest of the market down and it can happen literally Monday Tuesday Wednesday of this upcoming week that will not allow the Dow to make all-time highs okay so right now the market participants are not seeing that on the forefront they're still seeing anticipation of higher pricings I know the earnings seasons are fully in tow right now and they've been blowing it out the water that's why the Nasdaq continues to show us a lot of strength because the tech sector uh, continues to outperform what many of the analysts estimated for their earnings currently the market for all three indexes are still expected to move higher I still expect some volatility to increase meaning that what you see right here on the Dow on the first the second and the third of May expect to see more of these widespread bars occurring at the top end of these three indexes that continues to tell you that the market participants are being very active into selling and buying these three indexes and that's a perfect opportunity for us to dictate what's going to happen in the future okay so right now they're still anticipating higher prices okay so that's going to be what we're looking forward in this upcoming work week if there's anything that changes uh, we might break in on YouTube but definitely we will let our members on our website know of the changes that are occurring on these price charts so that's our thoughts that's our estimate that's our forecast of what we expect these three indexes to do make sure you all maintain your profitability and don't forget to go ahead and check out our website hefinancial.com if you want more of this type of information okay make sure you all maintain your profitability and i will talk to you all later